Hi guys, so today we're going to be doing Chin Ching number 117. So the first thing that I have is actually a set of, of vintage lamb chop puppets. Um, so these were all of the characters from Lamb Chops Play Along in puppet form, but they were all still sealed in their packagings. And Eric and I won these at an auction and I sold them all together for $149.99. We did have to pay a little bit for them, but I still feel like it was under $50 that we paid for them. Also sold a set of Simply Vera pillowcases for $35.99. These also came from an auction. They were on a tray of some other stuff that I won, so I wasn't even trying to win those. <laughs> uh, next I have, this was like a little cast iron smelting pot. Um, that sold for $39.99, and I'm pretty sure that Eric won that as well at an auction. Next piece was a um, watercolor by David Ellinger. So this was a folk art piece that Eric and I won at the very first folk art auction that we went to. It was a, an Amish lady making a quilt and that sold for $680. So that was a great sale. Next Four items did go to a subscriber named Sandra. She purchased an Estee Lauder lipstick in the shade Melon Shimmer for $39.99. Um, that came from a flea market. I think this is three things, sorry, I think I said four. Um, she purchased two pie birds that I had. One was a red cardinal pie bird that sold for $11.99. And the other one was a false graph black Pro Pie Bird that sold for $8.99 and those both came from a yard sale. I purchased them at the same yard sale. Um, let's see, I sold a two Mustang Ranch mugs. Um, at one point Eric had purchased, um, well he won uh, quite a few of these mugs at an auction. We had, I'd say we had six or eight of them and someone purchased two of these for $51.98. I also sold a Bath and Body Works Temptations lotion in the scent Pumpkin Pie. Uh, the Temptations line was such a good line. I miss it so much. Um, that sold for $19.99 and that did come from a yard sale. I also sold a pair of Sam Edelman flats for $45.99 and I'm pretty sure those also came from a yard sale. Next item was a Rose Will two port PCI Express card. <laughs> this sold for $19.99 and Eric picked that up at an auction. I also sold, this was a vintage Artograph tracing projector. So this was something where like it shined a light onto a wall and you could trace any kind of like art piece that you wanted onto, you know, your paper. Um, that sold for $20 and I picked that up at a yard sale that did take a long time to sell. I also sold a Starbucks New York mug for $19.99 and that came from a yard sale as well. Here's another one of those grocery gang blind box toys. Eric and I purchased this at a yard sale. We got like every single one they had <laughs> at the yard sale and I'm pretty sure we sold all of them as well. Um, and that sold for $69.99. I also sold a Russian wooden roly-poly chime. Um, this came from a flea market and that sold for $25.99. Um, I sold a vintage My Little Pony Starshine plush for $12.99. That came from a yard sale. I also sold a Mark Avon um, fragranced body powder in Wonderfleur uh, for $19.99. That came from a flea market. I also sold an Xbox One Battlefield Special Edition for $150. This did come from an auction. 
I sold an Epcot Center vintage hat for $15.99 and I'm pretty sure that was from a yard sale. Um, next item was a Limoges trinket box. It was shaped like a purse. I picked this up at a yard sale. I think I paid 4 or $5 for it and that sold for $59.99. I sold a pair of Rocket Dog Chunky Slip-On Moccasins for $29.99 and those came from a yard sale as well or a fill-a-bag rummage sale. Our uh, next item was a set of Spalding Golf um, Highball Glasses. Those sold for $24.99. I can't remember if those came from a yard sale or an auction, but they took a long time to sell. I sold a uh, pair of Vans North Face um, high top shoes for $79.99 and those came from a yard sale. Let's see, we have a vintage Eden plush of Humpty Dumpty that sold for $19.99 and I think that came from an auction. I also sold a Bob Mackie faux fur vest for $24.99 and that came from a yard sale. Uh, next we have a Wacky Wakers Cowboy Kitty Alarm Clock that sold for $23.99 and that came from a yard sale. Um, next item also came from a yard sale. It was a vintage Inarco Angel um, and she had boxing gloves on that sold for $19.29. I also sold a pack of Reach Gentle Glide Floss um, for $31. $31 for some dental floss. Um, yes, some people really get crazy about, you know, certain items, whether they're beauty items or perfumes, you guys know it. And, you know, when they stop making specific kinds, people are looking for them on eBay. Um, I wish I had more of those. That actually came from an auction. I also sold a The Way West book. Um, this was a Franklin Library book for $25.99 and that came from an auction. Uh, next item was a Resting Grinch Face Dr. Seuss shirt that sold for $16.99. That came from a Walmart clearance. I paid a dollar for that. Um, another item was a Five Nights at Freddy's Golden Freddy plush that sold for $299.99. That came from an auction. I also sold a Singamajigs plush. These things are creepy. This one was still on its original packaging. That sold for $29.99 and that also came from a yard sale. I sold a Campfire Marshmallows tin can for $19.99 and that came from a yard sale. Next item went to a subscriber named Allison. She purchased a 1990 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles slash figure for $19.99. Um, I also sold another Monster High doll of Claudine Wolf that sold for $39.99 and um, that came from a yard sale. I sold a Winnie the Pooh and Tigger neon wall clock for $45.99 that came from an auction. I also sold an old, this was a tin bank by Franconia. Um, it was shaped like a book and like this little creepy hand would like come out and snatch <laughs> the change. That sold for $69.99 that did come from an auction and I actually won another one of those at an auction so I have another one that I can list. Um, I also have another Monster High doll. This one was of Torali or Torali that sold for $49.99 again from a yard sale. Next was a Waterford Crystal Lighthouse that sold for $79.99. That actually came off of Facebook Marketplace. Eric had purchased a bunch of Waterford Crystal pieces off of Facebook Marketplace. He got like a ton of them. I think he paid, um, oh, I think it was I don't even remember. I know that it wasn't much and it was just insane. It was like a young, younger guy. So like, 
I don't, I don't know. I don't know the story behind it. If like he was just selling stuff for a family member or what the deal was, but we got a great deal on some Waterford crystal. <laughs> um, so you'll probably be seeing a lot of those within like the next upcoming Chichings. Um, let's see. I sold a vintage dollhouse. Um, this was an ice box with some accessories. That's over $12.99. And that probably came from an auction at one point. Um, no, that came from a flat of some dollhouse furniture pieces that I had purchased at a yard sale. I also sold a lot of five cloisonne little enamel pill boxes for $29.99. Those came from an auction. Um, next item was also some more little like miniature dollhouse pieces. It was for um, 11 brass goblets and like a little wine decanter those sold for $12.99 um next item went to a subscriber named Sharon she had purchased a Catherine Lily White bat ornament that sold for $12.99 I also sold a Toy Story um baby Jesse lovey for $39.99 and that came from a yard sale Next we have a zombie makeout club shirt that sold for $24.99. I think that came from a fill a bag rummage sale. Um, I sold a fossil black crossbody purse for $19.99. That came from a yard sale. I sold a Tova signature platinum perfume for $49.99. That came from a flea market. I paid $5.00. A Victoria's Secret Coconut Craze Body Spray for $49.99 that came from a yard sale. A nice item went to a subscriber named Carol. She purchased a recycled stamped glass cat um, window sun catcher for $9.99 and that came from a fill a bag rummage sale. Next item went to a subscriber named Arlene. She purchased a cloisonne cat-shaped enamel trinket box for $22.99 and that came from an auction. I sold an Estee Lauder Real Cheeky Palette for $19.99 and that came from a yard sale. And then the last thing that I have went to a subscriber named Dawn who purchased a set of Lillian Vernon wood dollhouse furniture for $22.99 and those came from an auction. So that is everything for this specific teaching. I'm trying to think of some things that I wanted to talk about um, within this teaching as far as eBay goes. I feel like my sales are finally starting to... Um, get get better <laughs> like I feel like um you know there was a little bit of a lull but I feel like sales have been popping off pretty well um here within like the last week or so knock on wood um I had some really nice sales recently um and I'm just excited for that because you know I try to list every single day sometimes I get up more things than other days but I I really strive to list at least a couple of things every day to just help <laughs> help with um, you know sales so I just I think that's a really important thing as far as you know getting sales consistently every day I mean every day I at least sell something um, if I would go a couple of days without selling I'd probably start freaking out because <laughs> you know I'm used to seeing at least a couple of sales a day um, but I also have a lot of stuff listed as well so that really does I feel like help um, so like I said sales I think are doing really well here lately um, yard sale season is kicking up um, unfortunately I think it went to rain this weekend so I'm not quite sure how you know that's gonna go as far as yard sales sometimes they're rain or shine but it's just no fun yard sailing in the rain. It's just not. Um, so hopefully like the rain stays away until like later on in the day or something like that. Um, but yeah, as far as eBay goes, I feel like um, one thing that I wanted to make mention about, and this isn't like 
anything I personally have a problem with. Um, most of the things when I list stuff as like a buy it now price, I don't put best offer on those items. Um, I like to try and get what I would like to get for something. And then, you know, after I have it for a while, I'm more um, inclined to send out offers or, you know, change my listing to accept offers. But, you know, when I list something, I, I'm not I'm not really looking to like take an offer on it quite yet kind of thing you know just to see if I could get my full asking price which I don't think is you know anything wrong as a reseller you know you obviously want to make the most profit that you can on something um but I feel like lately I have been getting messages constantly every single day of people like just asking you know if I will take less for something or whatnot and I don't mind these messages don't get me wrong because like it allows me to look at the item and be like okay yeah I've had this for a while let me send out this offer or let me change it to accept offers because I'm willing but then you know if it's something like I had just listed and there's someone like right away wanting it for cheaper I'm kind of like mm, you know like I'm not quite ready so it's like things like that like I'm not saying as a buyer don't message your seller asking for a discount or asking for you know a cheaper shipping cost or what have you just cheaper item in general I'm not saying don't do that but like you know sellers have the option to send out offers they also have the option to put best offer on their listings so if you don't see that chances are they probably aren't open to offers but that's not saying not everyone is is going to be like no i'm not accepting offers you know what i mean but chances are if if they don't have a best offer on um you know, there's a good, there's a good chance that they're just not accepting offers at the moment. Um, so, but I just, it's been like every day, like, and it's not the same item. It's just different items, but it's like constant barrage of messages, like every single day, um, you know, asking for discounts or something for cheaper and stuff like that. And I have accepted some of them. Like, it's not, like I said, not something that I'm just like, no, I'm not doing it. You know what I mean? Like I am open to it, but it just gets to be a point where you're like, and I'm still getting that like message notification when I get like bids and it's just, I guess it's like giving me post-traumatic stress disorder or something. Cause I think something's wrong <laughs> whenever I hear that. It's like, it's not a cha-ching sound. So it sounds like I'm getting like a message and I'm always like, I, I'm always stressed out when I get messages. Like I'm always like, oh no, like, is something wrong? Or, you know, I just, I think the worst about everything. So <laughs> I just assume it's a bad message when it's just someone asking if they can have something at a cheaper price, you know? So I think maybe that's why it kind of like got under, it's been getting under my skin lately, only because like I assume the worst and it's just like stressful to me to like get messages all the time about that kind of stuff. <laughs> I don't know. That's a, the one thing I can think of that's been happening lately um, is just like the the amount of messages that have been coming in recently about about stuff like that. So you have to let me know. Like, do you get messages a lot like that of people asking for um, stuff for cheaper and things like that? And um, just let me know. Like, do you just put best offer on all of your items, regardless if it's just something you listed or what have you? Um, like I said, I like to just try and get my asking price for stuff but obviously you know if it's not selling quickly enough then obviously I'm <laughs> way into you know accepting offers and things like that but I just like to to see if you can get you your full asking price but um that's just me so I'm just curious like how other people are as far as that goes um but other than that, I feel like I feel like things are going pretty well. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what you thought down in the comments, and I will see you next time.